Welcome to another Fifth of Glory 2 Medieval Battle. This one of a paired match against Sylvanol at French 1155 against Low Countries 1275. Okay, pretty knight heavy. It's probably inevitable in this matchup. The alternative is lots of subpar infantry, which did get some. Three units of defensive, well, four defensive spearmen to back up our own two units of Low Country spearmen, crossbowmen, light archers. Not to crossbowmen to help do flank work against their limited number of cavalry. So I'm hoping to break his knights and then kind of get a surround going while playing defensively with the center. We'll see how that works out in practice. Next turn. Okay. Uh, I guess we will start shifting over. We can take our time about it. Is using crossbowmen on that flank. So the intelligent thing to do might be to shift infantry to base them. Hmm. Hmm. Lights can go explore there. The whole line, I think, can probably shift inward somewhat. How do I want to deal with that? Crosswoman could go on a long journey to that forest. Seems kind of questionable, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not going to happen. So, shift inward to the center. Be ready to be a distraction while we make up our mind. Next turn. Okay, um, that's fine. Stretching out. Same with you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, stretch out the line. What am I doing with you? Is that actually worth my time? Uh, it might be. Okay. I mean, there's no rush, really. Wait there. See where he goes. Next turn. Okay, if he comes out to fight a bit further might be able to make this work, keep moving to extend things, shift over, this might not work out, hmm, let's get more heavy foot shifted to that side. Can't really face him with Lancers. We'll see what happens. Let's let him come forward a little bit more and then we can try to push our left wing with our Knights. And maybe there's going to be room to play here as well. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's turn. Hmm. An idea. Why don't you fall back? You go there. So I have three crossbowmen in that rough ground. Then let's go ahead and just peel everyone away from this flank. Use the rough to anchor on and hit his left wing while a few units stretch out to be distracting.
bit of a mess, but we'll see what we can do to get it to work. Fall back for now. And you ready. Next turn, I assume we'll get some kind of reaction to our shift. up my mind. Just can't do it. Now I want to get, try to get around with these weaker units with knights. That's no good. What to do? Can't push those crossbowmen with those spearmen coming in like that. So we need to wait. And see what happens, I suppose. Would have liked to engage these units here. See if we can draw out some crossbow fire. Next turn. Yeah, let's see how he responds to my frankly <laughs> shambolic movements here. Wouldn't blame him for being confused. It's a half arc, still cost a check. We can exhaust ammo, that would be fine. They're going to get charged off map for half route percent and hopefully come back later. Okay, so what we can do here is, well, hmm, I would like to move in such a way that we can get two units of knights around here. I don't know if I've made that possible for myself though. I'm going to have to accept this I'm getting shot at. If we move there, we'll get shredded. Even if we move here, we'll probably get shredded, but it might be worth the risk. If we hold firm, we could try to charge in with the extra 100 horse versus uh, bowmen in open terrain and all that. Okay, keep shifting over. Use these knights to just try to slow the progress of this large mass of foot while well, you run off. Cause distraction, that's fine. So we're gonna try to get in here, hold here, and then once more foot has arrived, help engage here. That's the plan anyway. Next turn. Okay, I mean that's long range shooting, that's completely fine. Evade. Probably gonna disrupt, right? Uh, well you're gonna have to block that. Well, that did block it. All 
All right, cut one through. Keep them busy. And no, there. Yeah, slow them down. You carry on. Get in the rough. Get the hell out of the way. Uh, normally I call this a waste, but I don't think we're gonna have time to use all the ammo anyway. See if they break. They do. Hopefully we pursue further than that. Fine, threaten the charge, prep the charge. Can't save them from getting rear charge, but then they can just bounce off, so it's not a huge deal. And these three units, eh, not that worried about them. Let's gradually make our way over. I'll wait for the reinforcement to arrive. All right, next turn. We bounce that. Yep. I will fall back from that. You know it is a bit unfortunate. We need to get into combat before that gets any worse. We'll fall back from that, which is no problem. We held firm. Now we'll close in with our foot. We've slowed his advance here. Still pushing forward, but not making any serious gains from doing so. Now we're going to gradually lose here. Crossbowmen, despite the disorder, can't stand up to real heavy foot. Yeah, I wouldn't. Actually worked out though. Lucky. What do we do then? Let's crunch here. Good. Zone them out. Zone them out. General up. There. Mm. Selling them out as well. Plank at that, not that it'll do any good. Okay. Anyway, now it's to action. This unit can't charge anyway, so we don't care. Deep spear, so a little bit more squishable than these uh, low country spearmen units. And yep, yeah, don't need to do anything else really. Next turn. Ah, well, that's too bad. Bounce off if they don't drop. And bounce off again. We'll gradually take some casualties from that, but not really worried about it. 
that's a bit more of a long-term concern. They'll be up from armor advantage, but that's an exposed flank. <laughs> that could get painful, actually. Lancers. Yeah, charging lancers with foot. Not a great idea. If we don't drop here, we can get a charge in. So this will give us the extra 100 of mounted versus bowmen in the open. Ah, but they hold. Too bad. What happens if... nope. No. Do we bother? Just get out of close range of the crossbows and cause the auto drop. Come on, try to speed things along. No. Oh, oh we lock out. In that case, can you take down armored and a pretty decent... Oh, no, they're standard sized, okay. I bet we can take them. Disorder helping us out here. Combat strength will eventually play the favor of these spearmen. This is pretty set. Next turn. So he's up POA, but disrupted versus steady. Not, not the thing to do. Well, uh, normally that kind of thing annoys me, but this is over, and it's clearly one of those situations where there's a uh, experience mismatch when I posted the mirror match. So, you know, I, I won the previous match, so it's definitely winnable by low countries, uh, but so it all seemed hmm, unaware of the interaction of charging versus not charging with spear against shot calf basically you almost never want to charge with spears against shot calf unless you think by doing so you can set up some kind of other more favorable situation but in general your spear should stand there and zone out the calf while your 
range units shoot them, preferably stationary, full arc, close range. Uh, otherwise, this kind of shit's going to happen. So, you know, sometimes, like, I, I feel tempted to, do, like, give my opponent, like, hints and tips in a situation like this, but it feels kind of rude without them asking or at least saying something, so I kind of leave it be. It is what it is. So, yeah, I, uh, you know, the upside of not playing tournaments is that I get to just play whatever matches I want at my own pace. The downside is that, you know, sometimes people might pick up a match who I mean, you don't know what they're getting into. Uh, you know, I've got an embarrassing number of matches in this game in multiplayer, and not everyone does. So, hopefully it wasn't too discouraging. So, good game, and till next time.